Let's say you want to embroider a snowflake. We're going to show you how to do that using movement and custom scripts. First things first, a little setup. Grab a when flag pressed block and stick a reset block underneath it. This will ensure that the turtle returns to its default position whenever we run our script. Now, our snowflake is going to have six branches. All snowflakes are symmetrical, so each of these branches needs to be exactly the same. To achieve this, we could just copy and paste out our code six times for each individual branch. That said, a much easier method would be to create our own blocks. Let's do that. Left click anywhere on the screen. This should give you the option to make a block. Select it. For now, we're not going to do anything too fancy with our branches. Let's just make a simple line, instructing our turtle to move 100 steps in 10, then negative 100 steps in 10. The one thing to remember is that for this to work, our turtle needs to return to its starting position every time, basing its original direction. In turtle geometry, this is what's known as a total turtle trip. Yeah, no, it's actually called that. That is a real, actual term in mathematics. Don't let anybody tell you mathematicians don't know how to party. Now that we've got our custom block, let's put it inside a repeat. We want six arms, so we'll set the repeat to six. 360 divided by six is 60, so we'll have the turtle turn 60 degrees after drawing each arm. Just like that, we have a snowflake. Kind of a boring snowflake, but a snowflake nonetheless. Let's see if we can spice things up a little. Add some stuff to your custom block, get as creative as you want, and uh, create something like this thing, I guess. Have fun.